10th anniversary of the Hamburg Triathlon. And there she is, Barbara Ramirez, wearing number one today. Paula Finley not racing this weekend, so somebody will take over the number one ranked spot. Lucy Hall from Great Britain really pushing the pace. The British swim specialist trying to get a bit out of the water. Moffat a little further back than she would like to be, as is Andrea Hewitt. A large group of about 20 plus women now already down the road. There's Barbara Ramirez. She's going to have to make up a bit of time in this transition zone. Eight laps, 40 kilometers, a huge crowd out on the course to cheer on these women. Basel from Germany certainly will take a lot of the accolades. There's the uh, camera on the bike of Emma Jackson as she tries to catch back up the 23 and under world champion from 2010 in a solid position now. We've got one lead group of about 36 women, a chase group almost two minutes back that has the likes of Sherry on in the bunch. And a lot of Emmas in this lead group. Emma Snosa with a great swim today, sixth out of the water. And she is in a fine position as they come to the last stages of this eight lap, 40 kilometer ride. It's been a pretty average season so far for the Emmas, both Moffat as well as Snowsill, but they have positioned themselves now very well in this big group of 35 women. Off the bike, there's Moffat, Ramirez just behind them. They look very aggressive now as they come towards the start of this four lap, 10 kilometer. There's the Moffat machines, put them on. And Emma Moffat do something special today. She has not been on the podium in 2011 so far. Aaron Densham in a great position as well. As a matter of fact, we have four Four Australian women right now in the top eight. There's Emma Jackson, Emma Snowsill, Emma Moffat, Barbara Ramirez into that bunch. And Emma Snowsill starting to move very quickly here. Look at the turnover of the three-time world champion, 2008 Olympian. And she moves ahead of Moffat, but Moffat late in the race starts to show that she has that extra gear. I don't think that Moffat has ever beat Snowsill when they both have come off the bike together. But today that is going to happen. We are going to have a trio of Australian Emmas. First to cross the line will be Emma Moffat joining her boyfriend, Brad Kohlefeld, who won yesterday. A fantastic final run for Emma Moffat, victorious here in Hamburg. What a beautiful effort. Australia, one, two, three. Look at the sprint finish coming into the line right there. It is Jackson, it is Snowsill. Jackson, Snowsill, and it will be Jackson for second. Snowsill, third across the line. Emma's one, two, three. What a day for Australia. Up onto the top of the podium there. It is not hard to guess. It has been a great day for Australia, the 23 and under. Jackson, silver, Snowsill. The world champion three times on bronze, but the day belongs to Emma Moffat as she claims victory, and it is time to celebrate with about five liters of beer. Absolutely wonderful day, um, Emma, Emma, Emma. Um, I think it's pretty un unimaginable that we could do it, but um, yeah, we did it today, and um, yeah, really happy with my performance, but as well as yeah, the other two Emmas as well. Most of the time when we have seen Emma Snowsill pull up beside you, it's only to keep going on. What was going through your mind when you knew that uh, you had one of the best in the world beside you and you had to make a decision to keep going on? Yeah, usually it's a few steps with her and then she's gone. But um, yeah, today I thought I'd try to match her. Um, and yeah, obviously um, I, I could do that for a little bit. And then I kind of felt strong on the third lap. So I tried to push it. And yeah, I guess that's where I kind of made my break. <laughs> 